Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Now in front of you in this leather canteen style case that this watch comes in, as you can see today we're taking a look at a newer version of the Attawak Windows Pro. It's a pretty cool watch, it's kind of a radio dial, very kind of vintagey in terms of the radio, uh, considering nobody really uses radios anymore. Everything is done very digitally with, you know, iPhones and such. And, um, you know, Samsung phones have their own music and such. Um, but yeah, pretty cool case. The watch retails at about 450, no, sorry, 550 US dollars. But there always is a discount code on their website. I will drop a link down to Adawak in the uh, description below so you can check them out after this video. Anyway, the watch is already out of the box, but as you can see inside, this opens up. And this is definitely one of the, you get your warranty card in here as well, which is international. And as you can see, the, the watch case is really nice. It's definitely one of the most interesting designs watch in terms of watch cases or boxes that watches have came in. Uh, and it's very good quality, it's very cool. I think this is a uh, really nice, very nice. I think it's a pretty nice little package. On my wrist today is actually an Apple Watch. It's the Apple Series 3. I know a lot of people are kind of against Apple Watches and such, considering mostly on this channel we review mechanical or, you know, kind of quartz models. Um, but you know, once in a while, I received this watch as a present like five or six years ago. And once in a while, I do like to wear it. It's pretty cool. Uh, it also has a heart rate monitor and such. Uh, yeah, it's just sometimes once in a while I throw it on and yeah. It's very comfortable as well. Now, here in front of you is the Adawak Windows Pro in the blue version. There are a few different variations, a few different color variations. You can check all that info out on their website in the description below. Anyway, it's a pretty interesting watch, right? I mean, it's a definitely a very different way to tell time. As you can see here, getting closer in on this dial. We do have running seconds, as you can see, right off the bat going around here. And you have your minutes down here, the little pointer over here, and then you have your hours on a kind of radio dash. Uh, which is really cool. Kind of reminds me of some old vintage cars, uh, which is quite cool. Uh, nice sapphire crystal as well. Very good specifications and very good quality. Uh, the quality on the Adawak models are always very good. I say this in every video. I wouldn't be saying it if it, if it wasn't true. Their watches are very well made. Um, I've never had a quality control issue with them. I've probably reviewed three or four of them and they're always on point. They always function well. Never any quality control issues, so definitely they're doing some good QC over there. I believe they're based out of Hong Kong. Anyway, the watch is actually in a house in a 42 millimeter case. It's not that big. It's definitely a little bigger of a watch, uh, but it's 42 millimeters across, 45 top to bottom in this square shape here. Thickness, we're looking at 13 millimeters, which is really not all that bad considering this is an automatic movement, uh, which is redesigned obviously for this special type of dial to read the time here. Total weight, we're looking at 120 grams, so that's a nice weight to it, not extremely heavy, not extremely light, but a nice weight to it, you do feel it on the wrist, and uh, definitely has some wrist presence as well. Uh, the case itself is solid 316L stainless steel, as you can see here. Um, there are some different finishes, you get brushed, and then you get some uh, little polishing as well. And what is really cool, you see this blue over here, right on the top of the crown guards? And this blue ring going around the square rectangular case here, it's actually loomed. <laughs> There's loom on the top of the crown guards and going on the, around the outside of the case, all the way around. As you can see, that blue follows all the way around, which is pretty cool. Um, on the other flank of the case, we get windows inscribed here. And then as you can see, there are these two lines going around. Um, so yeah, pretty cool in terms of the actual loom on the actual watch case, which is something I've never seen before. Um, really cool. As you can see here, we get a pull and push crown, 50 meters of water resistance. Like I said, it's not something to take in the water. This is not a dive watch or a sports watch. It's kind of an everyday casual. Obviously, you can dress this up with a suit. I think it would look pretty techy, in my honest opinion there. Now, the watch itself does have a lugless design, as you can see here. So it does wear a little bit smaller. The strap kind of goes into the case, hence lugless design, uh, which is pretty cool there. Look at that on the movement. Pretty cool, huh? That's a redesigned automatic caliber. Now, what's actually inside and powering this model, before we get to showing you how to actually read the dial, it's a Miyota Automatic 8... Uh, 82S0. Basically, it's an 8 series Miyota. No hacking, you get hand winding. Um, you know, you get about a 42 hour power reserve. It beats at 3 hertz, uh, 21,600 beats per hour, same as the NH35 in terms of beat rate. And in between the lugs, we have 22 millimeters here. Just a really, really interesting watch. Um, I'm going to bring you in a little closer. Attawaka logo is over here. Um, where the 12 o'clock position would be on a standard dial. As you can see, going across in brushed steel, you can get 
you get Adawak here, automatic, and then the model number as well, uh, which is pretty cool. So we get self-winding with this movement. The watch is already running, as you can see that seconds going there. And then we get one position, and we can change the time here. As you can see, you get your hours at the top there. So if I go ahead and set it to 12.40, that would be 12.40. Then we jump, oh, we're going to 1 o'clock now, 1.30, and so on. It's pretty easy to use, pretty easy to read. Obviously, you're not going to be able to read this at a glance, It's um, but it's a pretty cool watch, and it's very well done. As you can see, this is a multi-layer dial here. There are three layers to this dial. So, you know, a lot of work goes into making something custom like this, especially something custom like this that is not a homage. It doesn't look like anything else out there on the market. It's definitely its own thing, which is really cool. Obviously, you know, it took a lot of time to develop something like this. They did put a custom rotor on the movement, as you can see, a full custom rotor, um, which is actually larger than the stock rotor, which is actually pretty cool with the Adawak logo there. Kind of looks like a little three, as you can see there, kind of looks like a rim of a car, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Anyway, the case back's held on with four screws, two on the top, two on the bottom. Uh, you do get your limited edition number as well, 500 units, three ATMs, water resistant, all stainless steel, Adawak. And yeah, just really, really, really cool. The band's a genuine leather band with a soft kind of suede feeling with white stitching, uh, which is not that bad. We get a... Nice Adawak buckle inscribed Adawak uh, polish 316L stainless steel. Two keepers, one floating and one stationary. Backside, as you can see, we do get quick release on that band. If you want to swap out straps, this one go on a rubber band. Any other leather bands fit perfectly on this watch. You don't have to worry about that. There also is a nice amount of loom. Um, you know, the, num the numerals are actually pretty small. So it's kind of hard to put loom on it, but there actually is some pretty good loom or decent loom, I would say, on this ring here going around the watch on the top of the crown guards and on all of these numbers here, as you can see. I'll get you a loom shot in a second. Um, but yeah, all around, very nice quality, nice feel to it. Feels very well put together. And I think this blue is just absolutely stunning. Um, I want to get the torch looming up and we'll see what kind of loom this thing actually has. And now for the loom shot. That is crazy. Look at that blue ring going around the watch case and on top of the crown guards. That is really cool. As you can see, there is loom on the actual numerals um, and on the hour hand, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, obviously, it's not super potent, but it's definitely pretty legible, I must say. But that blue ring is really, really cool. Um, yeah, that's just really cool, guys. Now, my wrist is 6.5 inches. And as you can see, it does have a very nice presence. It fits perfectly across, but it does have some nice presence, as you can see. It doesn't wear too big from the side profile, and the band fits pretty comfortable as well. But yeah, uh, I mean, you can definitely read the time on this thing. And that does say 135, I believe, I'm looking from the camera. Um, but yeah, definitely a pretty cool. It's, it looks like it has like triple steps on the case, considering there's different little levels, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it definitely fits pretty comfortable. I was quite surprised by that. So furthermore, guys, if you're looking for a watch completely out of this world, something to completely change your collection around, you know, just in a way different piece than something you normally would buy, uh, something very different, something that's going to spark a conversation between two watch enthusiasts. Something that has a very unique dial. It's a one of one. It's not a homage or anything like that. And it uh, looks pretty nice. Obviously, it looks a lot more expensive than it costs. But I must say, the quality is definitely there for the money. And I believe, I believe right now they're actually at 650 But you get like a 15% discount on their website if you sign up for their newsletter. Um, I'm pretty sure. But you can definitely check on their website. Um, just a very well-made watch. Everything looks really nice. Everything is spot on. Beautiful cut sapphire crystal in that special custom shape there to fit in there. Uh, just really nice. Pretty cool watch. And also, these do come with a two-year international warranty, which is one year better than a lot of the brands are putting out nowadays, which is nice to see. Um, but yeah, definitely a pretty cool watch. Something interesting to add to the collection and uh, something for you guys to see that's quite different from the normal, you know, standard dive watch or something of that nature. But let me know what you guys think of this watch down in the comment section below as usual. This is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews coming at you with the Adawak Windows Pro Blue version. Let me know what you guys think. Definitely throw the video a like, share the video with your friends, subscribe to the channel. I have a lot more videos coming, guys, so I will see you on the next one. Bye.